We love breakfast so much here at home, and I think it really is my favorite meal. Today I'm gonna make a Baja-inspired breakfast, and I'm gonna start with border pintos or frijoles fronterizos. You know I'm in love with so many words, and I think frontera is one of my favorite words because it implies so many things. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Frontera doesn't only mean where something ends or where something different begins, but frontera also implies that there's a lot of possibilities. So in that respect, in this house, we do eat a lot of beans. We love them so very much. But this is like a new frontier for me because it's a different kind of making my beloved beans. So I have a half a pound of Mexican style chorizo. Before I go wash my hands, I still have to chop some bacon and I'm gonna cut it into chunks. Not too small, cause I wanna bite into the bacon. On the weekend, I really get in the kitchen and play with breakfast because we wake up late. We try not to do too many activities and I just take my time to prepare a delicious breakfast and then we eat only two meals a day. A huge, gigantic breakfast around 11 or 12 and then we just do dinner. If you were wondering what we do over the weekends here at home, and then <laughs> when you're frying the chorizo, you want to continue to break it apart. And it smells already delicious. The next thing that I'm going to add in here, once the bacon browns, is poblano chile. Poblano chiles are so magical in that you can use them in so many ways and they add so much to your dish. I roasted two raw poblano chilies under the broiler, put them in a plastic bag so they will sweat, and then you just peel the skin, remove the seeds, and then I cut them into strips. What happens is that the flavor really transforms from the raw poblano to the roasted poblano. I'm going to dice one tomato, and I'm gonna keep the seeds, because we want the flavor of the seeds, and we also want the juices. This is screaming amazing breakfast. Just look, it's just so meaty. You have your breakfast meats, you have the chorizo, you have the bacon, you have a lot of the flavor from the poblano chile, you have the tomatoes that are starting to soften, and they're not softening anywhere. They're softening inside of the chorizo and the bacon fat. It's a good thing. And then I'm going to add pinto beans. These beans were cooked here for an hour. I just grabbed a pound of pi dry pinto beans rinse them, did not pre-soak them or soak them, and then just drop them in the pot, cover them with a very generous amount of water, added a piece of an onion, and brought them to a simmer, cooked them for over an hour just until they were nice and soft, just like these. Just when you put them between your fingers, they come apart. <clears throat> I love beans. They're so giving, they're so earthy, they're so filling. This is a home-style recipe from the Baja Peninsula. Now you know the Baja Peninsula is divided into two states. You have Baja North and you have Baja South. Well, these beans come from North Baja. Pinto beans are king in the North, so just like the flour tortillas rule in the north and the corn tortillas rule in the south. People really have a preference for pinto beans in the north. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of the broth. You know that Mexicans love the cooking broth of the beans so much that we sometimes will make rice and cook it instead of with chicken broth or vegetable broth with the bean broth. And they're delicious. These look so pretty. Come see how pretty this looks. We wanna cook it further, cause we do want it to be a little bit soupy, but we want it to, to be a lot thicker. So we're just gonna let this cook down for another six to seven minutes. 
And these are the border pintos, and you guys are gonna love these. Juju, any preference? Okay, so here's, ves como esta, you can see all oh. of it. These border pintos have chorizo, and tocino, and bacon, and poblano chilies. Mmm, they're even better than what I remember. I feel like they go really well together.